This is a 1999 GMC Sierra 5.3 liter. I am going to take the valve covers off, or the valve cover on the driver's side off. I want to do a quick inspection to see if there's any antifreeze in it. This vehicle has an 862 head, which is the better head, so I do not expect to find anything in it. I um, have another truck that I that was a 4.8 liter, but it has it uses the same heads. It's a 4.8 liter. It has a 706 head. And I tried to do an oil change and I saw that the oil change or the oil was kind of a milk chocolate color. So I'm just going to do this as a quick instructional video to show you how to, you can actually inspect to see if you do have a cracked head or not. You can either do it on the driver's side or the passenger side. I've chose to do it on the driver's side. And let us begin. First thing to do is there's three clips that need to be loosened. One, two, and three. And you just kind of get a screwdriver in there and just click it back. Next thing is to undo the coil packs. There's one for each, right above each cylinder. You might as well also disconnect each spark plug wire from the coil packs. There's really no need to label anything. Everything's pretty straightforward and how it all goes back together. Everything lines right up. Okay, the last thing is going to be this little blue clip. This little blue clip, I just use a screwdriver and there's little tabs. You push in the tab and then kind of get on the other side, get the other tab, jiggle, jiggle, out she comes. Okay. So, next thing is going to be the coil pack. There's five studs in various positions, one, two behind that one, three, four, and then one at the very back. Those are a 10 millimeter. Okay, you should be able to 
work the coil pack out. For the valve cover, there's four bolts. They are an eight millimeter. And one, two, three, and four, they're kind of right in the middle. Might as well pull my PCV valve out as well. Get that out of the way. So once those are out, the PCV valve is off, everything's loose, you should be able to jiggle and pop it off. So then, this is the secret, is when you flip it over, you try to look and see if there's a lot of goo in here. This one's got a little bit of goo, but it's not too, too bad. I'm not sure if this one has a cracked head or not. But there's some goo and I wasn't expecting any, and that's not good news. Even when I look at the back of the cylinder where it accumulates, I can see that it's kind of discolored and not looking too good either. Hmm, further inspection is required, but that's how you pull the valve cover off to take a look at, to look and see if you have any buildup inside and, and an indicator if there's a cracked head or not.